Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to Clash of Clans. Welcome back to your army and we can finally spend some of our gold because last time, if you remember, I used all my builders but I've now got a builder free and we can use our gold but that is not the focus of the video. The main focus of the video is this. Boom! There we go. We are winning 98 to 10 against Hong Kong somebody. I don't know. Um, they've only attacked 8 times. We've attacked 71 times. Now, they're either going to do a last minute battle where they all come through and destroy us or they are just terrible not attacking and we have demolished them so we have destroyed them in clan wars i've actually attacked once but i missed the beginning of the clan war which means i had to attack the harder bases uh these bases up here are kind of too hard for me to attack at my level uh, but i did go for one and i got zero stars and we've got one more raid left so we are going to go for our recommended target here to try and take him down uh, i did attack this one and got uh, no stars which is a shame so anyway before we do that we're going to use our lovely lovely gold to upgrade some lovely lovely walls don't know why i'm saying lovely so much but first of all we need to separate uh this kind of this separate wall in the center here because otherwise we're going to be upgrading that so let's select the row and we can upgrade all of these so we're going to go basically uh, all around the town hall. It's really annoying, actually, that I have to I have to take those walls out to upgrade them all the time. You know what? I think I'm just going to go around and upgrade each of these walls like individually in the center. I have been attacked quite a lot recently because, obviously, for this level, I have quite a lot of gold sitting around. So people have come and taken it from me. But luckily, we've been able to defend a few off. Oops. Uh, we've been able to defend a few off, and we've been able to keep our gold and make up some levels so let's upgrade these we want the whole of the center here there we go the town hall now is protected by a really cool looking wall and now we're going to start doing the outside rather than doing the inside so let's start doing these i mean that is going to shed a load of money oh no i upgraded one to gold oh my god of you idiots i thought i had brought him out but clearly I had not. We now have one gold wall, which is actually really going to annoy me. And I am fuming that I did that because I wanted them all the same color. Uh, but obviously, Jesus did not want that. So let's continue finishing off these walls. Just finish the outside bits. Uh, we're going to leave ourselves with probably just around 200. Move wall. Just about 200,000, I think. Uh, so as soon as we go down to about that, we'll leave it at that because we need to do our bombs. And I'm also waiting to upgrade our final elixir pumps because we want to get them uh, nearly max. So actually, you know what? Let's do these two final bits. Um, no, do not do that. There we go. No, go away. Go away, you stupid level four wall. There we go. Uh, let's upgrade these. And upgrade these, and that is going to be us done for now. All right, so let us go into our clan war and go and attack. Where is that wall? There it is. Uh, we have got at the moment, uh, our army camps are nearly full. We've only got a balloon that is cooking now, which we can skip, I think. Yeah, we can skip these. Uh, so let's skip those. We've got full camps. We've got a clan castle also full. And we're now going to go and attack a base that we really will not beat. Uh, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So let's have a quick look at this base. Uh, this is a uh, town hall level six. And as you can see, it's a pretty high level. And there's a lot of stuff for me to attack at my level. But... We have got balloons and stuff, so we're going to go in. We're going to try and take out this um, air defense first, and then we're going to try and push from that side, and hopefully our balloons will do job. So let's run into the attack. I have no idea what my clan have given me in the clan castle, but hopefully it is something good that I can uh, at least get, you know, get good with. Get good with? That's awful English. So let us lure out the clan castle. There is nothing in the clan castle. Okay. Well, I can put these out here anyway because they'll start doing some business, uh, which is good. And now we're going to spawn in our giant. So we're going to spawn in. Uh, luckily, we only spawned one there because there was a giant bomb. So I'm going to spawn them in, spawn in the wall breakers as well. Uh, and then we're going to kind of attack from this side because I think this will be the better side to attack from. I'm going to spawn in whatever my clan gave me, uh, which is a variety of different stuff. Uh, we haven't broken through yet, so this is going to be a tough one. We're going to put a lightning spell on that there. There we go. We've broken in. Hopefully, they can take out that air defense pretty soon. And as soon as they can take out that air defense, I can spawn in these lovely, lovely balloons. I'm going to spawn them in now. Oh, my God. We're getting destroyed in there. Come on, troops. You can do this. Start hitting the stuff around the outside. Let's take these. Oh, there's builder huts. There's builder's huts around the outside as well. So, we'll take those out. Uh, making sure we're kind of picking absolutely everything off that we possibly can. And then we're going to rush in here. So 
the center has been taken out. The, the balloons did absolute jobs, to be fair, but they've been taken down now by the archers. Are we going to be able to get a 50%? I honestly don't think we're going to. We're attacking two high bases, but we have to attack in clan more. This is why you really should attack nicely and early so you can get the bases that are your level. But with that all said and done, we're on 35%. Uh, we're taking out some of those. We've got the Builder's Huts have gone down. Uh, we've got a few Elixir's Pumps going down. I don't know if this is going to happen, but we're going to wait. And we're going to see what happens here. Go on, you can do it, Archer. Take out that army camp. Hopefully nothing takes these out. And if these can kind of move along to the next Elixir Pumps... Uh, we should be alright. But while this is going, guys, because this is going to take a while, uh, I want to tell you that you guys have asked me to give an address so you can send me some stuff. Uh, it'd be really cool if I could do an unpacking video of your random stuff that you've sent me. So check the uh, description for my address. Feel free to send me whatever, and uh, you can be featured in a video for it. So we are attacking these final elixir, but no, don't take out that final archer. Go on, archer. You're going to do this. Right, we're going to skip forward uh, this a little bit because this could take a while. Come on, you beauty. You've only got 20 seconds left. She's nearly taking out this pump. And then I think she's going to run out of time. And to be honest, I think she's going to get hit as soon as she moves from this pump. Let's see what happens. If this gives me 5%, I will literally scream like a little girl. Are we going to finish it? Are we going to finish it? Oh, no. It only gave me 3%. And oh, she actually probably wouldn't have been hit. We end on 48%. Damn, that absolutely sucks. So what we're going to do is go through the other raids that my clan have done. Uh, and we're going to look at the most heroic attacks and defenses uh, and defense from my clan. So let's have a look at this apparently very heroic attack by Hazard Boyton. He is attacking a very uh, under under level Town Hall 10 base here. Uh, quite a rush Town Hall 10. So let's see how he does it. So he does a classic Go White Raid. Throwing in the golems to start off with. Followed by the Wizards. Destroying all the outside buildings. And now I guess going to chuck those Pekkas in to go through and do some maximum damage. Attacking from the top of this base here. In goes the King. The Queen. Jump spell. Perfectly placed to jump over those two sides. But not placed in the center. So he can't actually jump over the center. So they are going to have to go around. But I don't think that's a problem for him. Throws down a Rage spell as well. The Hulk Rider jumps over, starts to take out the air defense. Does that... Oh, the jump spell, sadly, has not been able to go into the center either. So the Peckers have gone all the way around the outside, which is kind of annoying, but it's not too bad. He rages up his Peckers here to take out this big area of, uh, of defenses. You can see there was a cannon, a wizard, and an expo still there. Drops the... Uh, oh, drops another rage spell down. And he's going the whole way around the base. He's able to get the 50% like... That, there we go. The king is on the town hall, meanwhile. He is level 6, so he does have his rage ability available, uh, which he uses up right there, and all of his barbarians die, thanks to those giant bombs. But the queen is also coming in to help him out. All the peckers have died. Uh, the golems are going around the outside for some reason. They've gone on an absolute stroll. That looks like a kangaroo golem. The big golem's got the little golem in his little pouch there. Uh, and the rest of his troops are dying, but he's able to get the 2-star for us, which is really nice. The queen is going for the archers here. She's killing her own kind, which is not nice at all. And then they go for the golems. The archers also are able to sit on the other side of the wall here, which is super good for them because they're able then to hit at the golem. And I'm guessing he is going to end it early um, because we're not going to get any further than that. So there we go. Most heroic attack, 53%. Two stars on a town hall 10 base. Great job. I don't know what level he is, but that would be very interesting to find out. Uh, we'll find him out as after Hazard Boyton. Let's see what Town Hall he is and see how he attacked it. All right, so this is the most heroic defense by OP Prison. Uh, and as you can see, he's a low level, but this apparently is a really good defense. Let's see how it goes. So in come a load of wall breakers to start off, which is a very strange attack, followed by uh, barbarians and archers. He's doing a classic uh, bag here with the barbarians, archers, and goblins. In come all the goblins. They run past the archers. They go for the loot. You shouldn't really attack in clan wars with goblins, but uh, I guess to each their own. But obviously, this does not work for this guy because this is the most heroic defense and not most heroic attack because they have been dropped fast by the wizard there. Look at the wizard hitting at the barbarians. There's a huge pile of them that he's able to take down. But the queen, sorry, the archers and the uh, wizard were going for the town hall. But the cannon's lucky enough to be there to take them out. He actually doesn't attack the barracks on the outside, the army camps on the outside, and the builder's huts in the corners. If he would have done that, 
he could have probably got a at least a star for 50 percent from this base uh but obviously he did not do that let's fast forward this double time you know what he definitely he definitely 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 would have got a 50 percent for doing that but it looks like He's not going to get a 50%, and all his troops are going to die here. And that's going to be the end of his raid. Oh, he must be fuming. How did he not go for the stuff around the outside? So the final thing we have to do on this clan war is have a look at our base. Did our base survive? I'm guessing no, but you never know. Let's go find it. Where are you, base? Where are you, base? I'm like the lowest, I think. No, I'm not. There I am. I have not been attacked, obviously, because they've hardly attacked. Uh, so that is really, really good for us. What we're going to do now is we're going to see what level that Hazard guy was uh, and see what... Because obviously he beat a Town Hall 10. So it'll be interesting to see what level he was. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Here he is. Hazard boy, what level are you? What level are you? He is... Where is his Town Hall? I have no idea where his Town Hall even is. Where is it? Am I being blind? Oh, there it is, though. No, it's a Town Hall level 9. So a Town Hall level 9 destroyed the Town Hall level 10 and got the 2-star. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, please do smash that like button down below. Let's keep this the most liked series on my channel. Let's see if we can get a massive 3,000 likes. That'd be awesome. All you ninjas out there, go to work hitting that like button and comment down below. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.